Welcome back everybody, episode 232, No Edits Crypto, Thursday edition, three stories and the market. The uh, news ha just never slows down anymore in this space, which is a positive thing uh, going on. Uh, every day there's just countless stories, so I try to pick my favorites and the most important or uh, interesting for the day and do a little compilation here. The first story is Marco Polo, blockchain build on R3's Corda sees first live trades. The first two real-world uh, transactions have been conducted on Marco Polo, the trade finance blockchain built on R3's Corda platform. This is via Mark Austin, Coindesk. And on Thursday, the trades took place between two German companies, Voth, a manufacturer of machines uh, such as turbines, generators, and transmissions, and KSBSE, a supplier of pumps and valves. One transaction involved the delivery of special hydraulic couplings from Germany to China and the other delivery of pumps within Germany. While, while all that may sound uh, prosaic, uh, these transactions were notable since the necessary data was exchanged through distributed ledger tech, DLT, ditching the usual slow and costly physical documents and intermediaries, according to a press release from the consortium behind the blockchain. The companies agreed on uh, the order and delivery de details through Marco Polo Network, and after the goods were delivered, the shipment information was uh, entered into the system and automatically matched with previously agreed data, triggering, triggering an irrevocable payment obligation on the part of the buyer's bank, release said. So, great news there. More business being done on blockchain tech. ZPay, second story, becomes first exchange to add lightning payments for all users. Uh, let's see here, where are we at? To, uh, despite its still very much uh, experimental nature, Lightning Network is growing fast and its integration into mainstream services continues. The announcement from Malta-based ZPay, once India's largest cryptocurrency exchange, claims to mark the first acceptance of Lightning Network payments by a major exchange. Available through web, iOS, and Android apps, customers worldwide can now use BTC wallets, but, uh, wallet balances to make Lightning transactions. ZPay particularly emphasizes using the service for purchases at Lightning-enabled retailers, claiming users can buy virtually, uh, buy virtually anything by identifying the store, copying or scanning the invoice of the product or service, and finalizing payment within milliseconds. So ZPay, shout out to them for... Uh, their work with uh, accepting Lightning. Third story is uh, the Bitcoin block reward and price. This is kind of, uh, you know, a lot of people uh, got into this space for technology. A lot of people got in to get rich. And everyone wonders when the next uh, bull run is going to occur if we, or if it's already underway. This is uh, from News BTC. Uh, Bitcoin block reward to catalyze parabolic run, which a lot of people who have uh, been around for prior block rewards know that the price jumps up. Uh, leading up to and sometimes right after or, you know, the, uh, the happening. Bitcoin block reward to catalyze parabolic run. Industry researcher Plan B recently shared his thoughts on 2020's have, having in an extensive, me extensive medium post. Plan B explains that it would be fair to model Bitcoin's future valuation through the stock-to-flow ratio, SF, which looks at assets above uh, ground stock and their inflation flow, especially due to the asset's proof-of-work model. And um, as it stands, Bitcoin currently has an SF of 25, meaning that it would take 25 years of current issuance levels to produce the current stock, 17.5 million Bitcoin. This is similar to uh, Silver's uh, SF of 22 but far under gold 62. With these sums in mind, Plan B goes on to remark that there is a nice linear relationship between SF and the market valuation of an asset. Thus, with the halving, which will increase the uh, stock-to-flow ratio, the analyst predicts that Bitcoin's market capitalization could reach as high as $1 trillion, um, which would place Bitcoin at around $55,000 apiece. While $55,000 for each Bitcoin seems irrational for most, I think it's going to go far higher than that in the next bull run. It could hit 100000 But Plan B writes that money from silver, gold, negative interest rate economies, authoritarian and capital control, uh, rife states, statism. Billionaires looking for a quantitative easing hedge and institutional investors will eventually flood into this space. 
This is this in, this in and of itself may seem like a pipe dream, but some in this, but some in is but some is that it, it it that doesn't make sense. It is likely, especially with the increase in hyperinflation, fiscal mismanagement, and speculators looking for alternative investments. So uh, this is going to be very interesting here, and I'll. Uh, I'll provide the graph here at the end of the show after the uh into the uh into the after the market update and you can see the uh bitcoin uh the graphs which are shown here in these tweets into the market uh bitcoin up 0.07% 4050 ethereum down 0.05% 13890 everything kind of moving sideways for the most part right now. EOS up 3.68%, percent 4 uh, $4.30. Cents. Litecoin down 0.57%, $61.09. Bitcoin Cash up 0.7%, $168.79. To Monero up down 0.97%, $52.99. Dash up 2.46%, $95.21. NEO up 1.22%, $9.26. Ethereum Classic down 1.21%, $4.76. Steam up 1.34%, $0.45. And lastly, Flash. Currently up 1.3% at 0.0031 cents. So, uh, Bitcoin dominance at 50.12%, dropping a little bit. It seems like alt season right now. And aggregate market cap uh, up to 100, uh, back up to 142 billion, 343 million, 744 thousand dollars. Everyone have a good Thursday.